Eric, thank you. Well, hard to believe 2020 is just a few days away. Many of you may have a list of resolutions, and that might include getting more physically fit. Joining us this morning to break down some tips to help you stick to that goal is the owners of Core Strength and Performance, Devin and Heidi Donnell. Guys, good morning. Right, good morning. Good. Yeah, thanks so much for being here. So again, we're talking about these New Year's resolutions. Of course, many of us, we say, this is the year, right? I'm going to get fit. Why is this so hard for so many of us to stick to? So uh, a lot of people, they, have, they struggle with... Um, they, they try to get, oh my gosh, <laughs> they try, they, I just had a brain fart on TV. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's all right, we'll keep rolling with it, I you think, got it. I think um, a lot of times when people start a new gym, they're looking for something right away. So right. they maybe have gained weight and they're thinking, you know what, I'm, this is my time, my motivation is there, I really want to lose the weight right away. And one of the main things we tell people is to not look for rapid changes in your body. If you have anything that's super fast, it's normally going to be something that's quick and then you're going to lose it right away. So we really talk about lasting changes and lasting changes normally don't have uh, happen very quick. So if you've ever been on a diet where it's like eliminate all carbs, eliminate all fat, those kind of things do not stick long term. And I know that a lot of people, we can all agree we've tried something where it was a crash diet and then slowly we gained it all back. So that's one of the main things that we tell people. Just try to understand that it is a process and it'll take mm -hmm. a little bit of a while, but those changes will be long term. Absolutely. That hard work will pay off. And just like you said, it is a process. So don't be expecting those, those quick results. Um, and so, yeah, so some other tips kind of you mentioned earlier before before we went on air, you know, make it fun, right? Maybe even grab a partner or maybe a, a someone to help motivate you. I think a lot of times we think working out is just an hour on the treadmill, right? There are other options. Talk to us about uh, what people can choose from and how you can make working out fun. So with that, people, like, the results always come with consistency. So if you're going to be consistent, it has to be fun. And it does, it, there is a hard work component to it. That, like, it's going to be challenging. You're trying to change your body. But if, you're, if it's more fun, you're more likely to stick with it. So choosing things where you start your journey on whatever, something you might enjoy. Like, Heidi started with Zumba. Yep. And now she's a power lifter. <laughs> so, you, know, like, you're like, you don't know where it's going to take you. You know, it's just one of those things that, like, getting, getting somewhere where you can know, like, hey, I can do this. This is all right. This is challenging for me. But it's also enjoyable. And then from there, you can progress the things that are like, maybe down the road, your goals change. We've had plenty of members join to be like, hey, I want my back to feel better. And now they're doing like different types of competitions, different types of things, because they just, you can't see how far you're going to go until you kind of take in that journey. So, mm -hmm. you know, just start with something fun and see where your body takes you. Yeah. I think that's important because um, a lot of times I come across people who, you know, they'll say, I'll do whatever it takes. I just want to get the weight off or I really want to get strong. Um, and they do a lot of things that aren't fun. And then they don't stick with that because it feels like a punishment rather than just going in and enjoying the process. So that for us is a big, big thing. And that gym and wherever you choose should resonate with what you do. Absolutely. Yeah. And hopefully, again, these goals maybe last throughout the whole year. But I think many of us, we... July comes and we're like, I haven't gone to the gym at all, right? So maybe what's some advice for people who have maybe kind of slacked off on their goal? How can they pick it back up and remember to keep going? So like one of the things that would be, uh, is to do is to enjoy the process. So that it is a process-oriented thing, you know? So if you're looking at the goal, like some people come in like, I want to lose my tummy. You know, your, your body doesn't work that way. Your body's going to lose it from where it wants to lose it, and typically it's not what we want right away. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so like understanding that it's a process and ap appreciating the goals and changes we've made along the way. Maybe your legs are more toned. Maybe your arms are more toned. Maybe you're stronger. Maybe your lifestyle's better. And understanding all those things will help you stick to your goals a little bit better. And then maybe eventually down the road with all, with all the other things you've done, the tummy will start to trim down. But it's one of those things that like, it, you just have to understand it doesn't happen the way we want it to happen. It takes yeah. hard work. It's a process. And appreciate the little wins along the way. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely some great advice there. Well, Devin and Heidi, thank you so much. And good luck to all of y'all with those resolutions. You can always watch this interview back for more inspiration. We'll have it online <laughs> for our website.